Hi guys doing and welcome to another ARK Garage video if you want to see more Alfa Romeo related content make sure to hit like share and subscribe it's finally happened the uh, door handle on my 147 has snapped and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to prevent this uh, how to disassemble the door handle and how to fix it without buying a new one as in uh, most cases the issue is in front part of the door handle now the fix is going to be quite simple but the bigger challenge is actually going to be the uh, removal of the door handle itself first uh, let's discuss how to prevent this so we got to do is spray a little bit of wd-40 right here and on the uh, back part this will prevent the uh, door handle from snapping and you'll see later in the video why now uh, to gain access to the uh, outer door handle we gotta remove the door panel first i'm gonna start by removing these uh, five phillips screws uh, on the bottom of the door Now I'm going to remove this top one which is located behind this uh, little plastic piece. While I'm here I'm also going to remove this triangular plastic and uh, all we got to do is uh, pull it off. I still uh, got two allen screws which I got to remove. One is behind the window switch, one behind this uh, plastic. I'm going to use a hot glue stick uh, to uh, remove this uh, plastic piece without damaging it. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna basically heat up the uh, hot glue stick with my heat gun. I'm gonna stick it to the uh, trim piece and I'm gonna let it cool down before I attempt to remove it. Now when it cooled off, all we gotta do is uh, pull the trim piece out, just like that. To remove the window switch, I'm gonna use my plastic trim tool and I'm basically gonna push it up. Now to remove the connector, all we got to do is press on this little clip and pull it off. Uh, here's the first one of the uh, two Allen screws and you got to use a 5mm socket to remove them. The uh, door panel is finally free to come off. I always like to start from the bottom right corner and I'm gonna do all of the plastic rivets which hold it in place. Now I'm gonna push the door panel up and I'm gonna guide the uh, door handle through the uh, plastic trim piece. Uh, there are two more things that uh, you gotta unplug first one is the uh, door light all we gotta do is press on the clip on the side and uh, pull it up now here is the uh, here is the clip right here that I'm talking about the uh, second thing you gotta undo is the connector to the speaker there are no clips uh, just pull the connector up i'm gonna remove this uh, plastic piece which is held in by these three phillips screws to uh, free it from the door handle uh, rod push this clip up and undo this uh, little plastic piece To gain access to the door handle I still have to remove the window guide as well, it's held in by these two torque screws. Now I can start removing the door handle, first I'm gonna remove this 10mm uh, nut. Uh, moving on to the second Torx screw which holds the uh, door handle in place. Here comes the uh, tricky part to uh, get as much access as I can. I'm gonna remove both of these uh, rods. Now this uh, upper part of the upper rod as you can see it's held in by the red plastic piece. Now that uh, 
part has to be pulled out it's gonna require a lot of force but uh, that's the only way uh, to do it to undo the bottom parts of both of these rods push these plastic pieces to the sides and uh, pull the metal pieces out just like that now I still got uh, one more again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna push the plastic piece to the side and uh, pull the uh, rod out uh, and I'm gonna pull the handle out as much as I can I'm gonna pull it forward I'm gonna pull the bottom out first and I'm gonna pull on the door handle as if I was uh, opening the door alright this is gonna give me enough access to uh, undo the rod that I didn't have any access to now the other rod that uh, was held in place by that little plastic red piece I pulled it out but I wasn't able to film it uh, now you can undo this uh, just as uh, those two bottom pieces pull on this uh, plastic piece and use your flathead screwdriver to pull the uh, top part of uh, this uh, metal rod out just like that uh, this will free up the handle enough and you can finally uh, disassemble it all together here's the uh, first issue that I have the plastic uh, red piece which held in the upper rod which I had to pull out by force has uh, snapped off but I got a little trick which uh, I'm gonna use to uh, replace it here's the uh, metal piece which caused all of the headache it's uh, held in by one Phillips screw I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna get the uh, broken piece together to try and figure out how I can fix it uh, let's take a closer look here now the metal piece in my left hand is held by the 10 millimeter nut the one in my right hand has uh, snapped off it's all uh, because of this uh, metal pin which has uh, seized and it's caused the uh, metal piece to snap off. Uh, this is exactly why the uh, use of WD-40 from time to time is going to prevent uh, this from happening. The uh, first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to spray it with a WD-40 and I'm going to get the pin as well as the broken piece moving again. Now uh, that I got everything loose, I'm gonna move on to the fixing part. I'm gonna take a half a millimeter stainless steel sheet along with my uh, broken part and I'm gonna make a small template which I'm gonna cut out uh, using a uh, angle grinder. I got the piece uh, cut out, it's not uh, prettiest but it doesn't really have to be since it's gonna be hidden. Alright, uh, here's uh, what I'm gonna do, I got the uh, metal pin uh, working again, I'm gonna take my uh, broken piece and I'm gonna put it back together. I'm gonna take my uh, stainless uh, steel uh, cut out, I'm gonna put it around the broken piece. I'm going to drill a uh, hole to it and uh, it's going to be held in one side by the screw while on the other side I'm going to fold it and make a notch so it fits right here in this uh, void. So uh, essentially I'm going to use a screw which is originally used to hold this metal piece in place and it's going to hold my uh, uh, stainless steel uh, cut out along with the broken piece it's gonna look basically something like this last thing left to do is uh, screw in the original screw now as I said uh, it holds in the stainless steel piece and it also uh, holds the notch on the back side now you gotta get this nice and tight so the uh, door handle doesn't wobble or uh, do anything unusual now as you can see right here this is uh, actually uh, better than I thought it would be and it basically doesn't obstruct any movement whatsoever.
Uh, now to replace that uh, broken red uh, plastic piece, I've uh, cut the uh, rubber hose uh, lengthwise and I've uh, put it inside this hole. Now this is gonna hold this uh, rod, it's gonna be a little bit harder to put it back in, but it's gonna be good. And uh, after all that work, let's finally check out the end result. The uh, door handle works perfectly, it doesn't wobble, make any noise uh, or anything like that. The uh, reason why I uh, went this way instead of buying a new door handle was that I had to wait for the new one for approximately two weeks and I uh, simply didn't want to do that. Uh, that would be all for this video. If you liked it, uh, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of our festivities.